The next generation of mobile technology will destroy our health and the earth. We need to stop the rollout of 5G before it's too late. In this video you will learn what 5G is and why you should be concerned about your health. You will also discover how governments will use this technology to surveillance us. So let's begin. We're moving into the fifth generation of cellular telecommunications, 5G. 5G will provide faster downloads and streaming. You can download a movie in seconds instead of minutes. The telecommunications industry promises fast, universal and unlimited mobile internet access by 2020. 5G will use millimeter waves. It will operate between 30 and 300 gigahertz, as well as some lower and mid-range frequencies. Millimeter waves do not travel well through buildings. Rain and plants also tend to absorb them. To counter this problem, 5G will use smaller cell stations. This means wireless antennas on every lamppost, utility pole, home and business. Current 4G cell towers have about a dozen antenna ports to support all communications. The new smaller 5G cell towers will carry about a hundred ports. These towers will be about four feet tall as opposed to the usual 90 feet towers currently around us. Cells will be available within a hundred meter or 109 yards range. 5G will break down data and send it in small sizes to offer reduced transmission times. There will be only one millisecond delay when you send data, instead of a 15 millisecond lag found with 4G. With communication this fast, it will allow machines to talk to each other with no room for error. 5G is not a simple upgrade, rather a major increase and change in wireless radiation. It will increase our wireless radio frequency exposure every day of the year. 5G is not too confused with the 5 GHz frequencies used in routers. Some devices state they are 5G, but that means they use the 5 GHz frequency. There are also some key differences between 4G and 5G technologies. First, 4G uses several different frequencies from 750 MHz to about 2400 to 5000 MHz. 5G uses 30 to 300 GHz, but will also use lower frequencies. 4G electromagnetic wavelengths are inches to feet tall. 5G frequencies are in centimeters to millimeters. 4G can travel dozens of miles in a line of sight if poles are high enough. 5G can only travel a few miles. 4G radiation passes through bodies and gets absorbed by water. 5G signals penetrate only the outer layers of the skin in humans. The 5G standard is new and there are no studies that look at long-time exposure. Senior telecom executives admitted they had not done any safety testing on 5G in a US Senate hearing, nor do they plan to do any. There are no industry back studies to my knowledge right now. Happy to visit with you as to what uh, opportunities you think there needs to be more studies and we're always for more science. We also rely on what the scientists tell us. So essentially the answer to my question, how much money Zero. Uh, I can certainly follow up with you, Senator. To my knowledge, there's no active studies being backed by industry today. Major health concerns with exposure to 5G are to the skin and eyes. The human body has between 2 million to 4 million sweat ducts. Our sweat ducts act like an array of antennas when exposed to this wavelength. The epidermis and dermis layer can absorb 90% of the transmitted power. This may cause skin diseases and cancer as well as physical pain to our skin. Plants and rain will absorb 5G signals, which could leave us with food that's not safe to consume. What is more disturbing is that 5G signals are already used in crowd control weapons. The US Army uses millimeter waves in crowd dispersal guns called active denial systems. If you are unlucky enough to be standing there when it hits you, you will feel like your body is on fire. 5G will increase exposure to EMF signals on top of the 2G, 3G, 4G and Wi-Fi signals. It will be 10 times faster than 4G, but also emit 10 times more radiation. Another health concern is the devices part of the Internet of Things. It's a vast grid which will connect our household devices to the Internet. The industry wants to embed a cellular microchip into most manufactured goods. Therefore, items purchased in the future will send data to companies and governments. Some stuff that will use 5G include robots, artificial intelligence, autonomous vehicles, 
refrigerators, washing machines, surveillance cameras, toothbrushes and more. Soon we will have 10 to 20 billion devices connected to the internet. All these interconnected objects will increase radiation from electromagnetic fields. It will create a more complicated denser soup of electrosmog. To work with a higher range millimeter waves in 5G, the antennas required are smaller. Some experts are talking about as small as 3 by 3 millimeters. 5G base stages and 5G devices will have multiple antennas in phased arrays. They will work together to emit focus, laser-like beams that track each other. Smart antennas will be able to differentiate between various mixed-up signals, so radio waves and Wi-Fi signals will not interfere. The FCC allows these beams to use as much as 20 watts. This is 10 times more powerful than levels allowed on current phones. The first reported injury of 5G in a news report comes from Switzerland. The country launched 5G in 102 locations. A French-language Swiss magazine interviewed people living in Geneva after the 5G rollout. They reported alarming side effects. Besides millions of new base stages on Earth, 5G will also use 20,000 satellites in low orbit. These satellites will use the same type of antennas as ground-based 5G systems. Each satellite will be the size of a small refrigerator and weigh about 880 pounds. With a life expectancy of only 5 years, this means there will be a massive amount of space junk orbiting the Earth. Those satellites will fall to Earth and will burn up as they enter the atmosphere. All the hazardous materials in the satellites will get into our air and ground. If the industry's plans for global 5G come to fruition, no person or animal will escape the exposure. Telecom investment in 5G has been massive. They are planning full implementation on the ground and in space in the next couple of years. Today it's possible to live in a location that has reduced levels of microwave exposure. However, soon it won't matter where we live because 5G will irradiate us wherever we happen to live or work. So no one will be free from exposure. Radiation from these satellites and base stations will be disastrous to all life on Earth. Another concern about 5G is our privacy. 5G will strengthen mobile phones as a platform for population control. It will create a big brother society that George Orwell warned about in his book 1984. The book described a totalitarian society where the government spied on everyone. In 2020, the Orwellian prophecy will begin to come true, 36 years later than predicted in the book. The real reason for 5G deployment is to create a control grid. We will have a 5G receiver everywhere in the form of smart meters and other smart technologies. Autonomous vehicles will be part of the cloud along with smart city energy grids, transportation networks, water systems, education and entertainment. This is only possible through a cloud that is low latency, ultra fast and secure. That is the reason why governments want to rush out a 5G global network. Smart cities is code for human settlement zones, or high-rise densely occupied megacities of total surveillance and control through AI. Everything you say or do will be monitored and recorded. This is not coming, it's already here. Look at all the new technologies introduced now. The internet with everything from AI office assistants to smart devices control us. Together all these smart technologies will be part of the 5G smart grid. Surveillance possibilities are obvious with everything connected to the internet from home appliances to cars and devices of every kind via ships, smart meters and other Wi-Fi fields. All road vehicles will use AI through the cloud which Elon Musk already develops. Driverless cars will ensure they can't take you where the authorities don't want you to go. The cell phone has proven useful as a communication tool, but there's no need to expand it beyond its capacity to transmit short voice and text messages. The industry would like us to download movies on the move to justify a 5G network. But how many people enjoy watching movies on small screens? Most people watch them on their huge flat screen TVs. Optical fiber is safer, healthier, and faster than wireless technologies. A more useful investment would be to connect the optical fiber network directly to users. Everyone could enjoy a communication speed 10,000 times faster than wireless signals. 
we must take immediate action to protect life in all its forms. More people need to wake up and stop this madness. One way we can do that is to educate people so we all can refuse this technology. The time to object is now, and not after hundreds of thousands of people become sick. 5G is the upcoming mobile technology. There are no 5G safety studies. 5G will use millimeter waves that can cause severe skin and eye problems. The Internet of Things is a massive control grid that will surveillance us and connect everything to the Internet. We need to stop the rollout of 5G before it's too late. Download our ebook to learn how your family can avoid EMF radiation from cell phones. Also, get some tips on how to shield your home from 5G signals. The link to this ebook is in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to the channel. Also, visit our page cancerwisdom.net to learn how to treat cancer with natural remedies. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.